Hey guys, if you are looking to spice up your relationship, no matter who you're into or what you're into, then we have got the toys and the tips to get you there. So although we're really comfortable talking about sex toys in our relationship, there was a point where we weren't, and I know so many of you messaged me to say that you just don't feel like you can bring it up, which is the whole purpose of this video. So one thing that is vital is communication and how you approach it. So something we've always done, which Leon's been incredible at, is I will send a link or an article, a blog or a YouTube video, or perhaps this video, and Leon's done it himself with the Anne Summers website. Yeah, I literally turned around and said, Go on there, pick something, pick whatever you like, and we will figure out how to use it together. <laughs> because that's it, it's, it's got to be inclusive of your partner because mm -hmm. then there's no, no damaged egos at the end of it. It also so. sets out the vulnerability that you both don't really know what you're doing, you're yeah. both willing to try something new. And that takes us on to the next thing, which is reassurance. Now, when it comes to sex toys, I think, as you said, egos get bruised. If yeah. you are in a long-term relationship and you suddenly just go, babe, I wanna introduce this really big dildo, they're suddenly gonna go, huh? You haven't done you, this You don't wanna, whole... and it's, it's a case of understanding that you as the partner are not being replaced yes. by the toy. Mm -hmm. The toys are there to enhance what you're already doing well together as a couple. And I think that's a really key point to remember is like, just because a vibrator is turned up, <laughs> that doesn't mean that you're going to the wayside. Yeah, so pick your time and your place. I wouldn't do it after you've just finished having sex. Be like, do you know what? That would have been way better if we'd had this. The best thing to do is to approach it with a compliment and then an idea. So I would say something like, babe, I absolutely love it when you do this. But wouldn't it be amazing if we could add in this also because I think it would make it so much better for the two of us. That way they feel confident, they don't feel like you've suddenly said that your sex life has been terrible and it makes you feel like, oh okay, they want to make our sex better. Who doesn't want that? So it's a great way to introduce it without anyone's feelings getting hurt. So not to make it sound too clinical, but research is really important. When you are picking a toy, it's really good to admit that maybe the two of you do not know how to use yeah. it. There's nothing worse than being like, oh my gosh, they are a pro at this and I don't know what I'm doing and they're gonna expect me to be able to make it incredible. Yeah, there's nothing worse than being in the moment of intimacy and then trying to figure out how something works because that's gonna make it potentially very awkward very quickly and it can kind of lose the spark. So I think it's like, mm -hmm. you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get a new car without taking it for a test drive. No. And I don't mean sexually, but just unpacking it, figuring mm -hmm. out the different settings. These ones that Carly's got over here, these fusion ones, go have got so many different settings, 10 different <laughs> speeds and vibrations <laughs> and all sorts. I was well out of my 50 depth. different ways to play, yeah, he was like, so what? I was like, what's going on? So literally just sitting down and having a play in a non-sexual environment was really, really helpful. Yeah, and I think, again, the vulnerability of the two of you, no one fully knows how to do sex. And if you've never used one of these before, or you've never had a sex, you're not gonna know. So instead of like trying to give this opinion that you know everything, just let it be and be like, babe, right. I haven't got a clue, so what do you think you do? What do I do? How does it work? And play with it and actually it makes for a really lovely intro to great sex because you might be laughing and smiling about it and then you're gonna be your best version of you in the bedroom anyway. Another thing that tends to happen with sex toys is that they are seen as competition, which can yeah. also make I used to be, I'll be honest and say, I used to be very much like that. I was like, <laughs> well, how am I gonna compete with this? Big old thing. And for some of this, <laughs> Back in the day, they used to be cool. they used to be very intimidating. <laughs> Whereas now, I'm like, okay, cool. This could actually help. So for things like that, we have just the thing. So we're going to start with this. Now, this is the Anne Summers Fusion Collection, and we're going to start with this, which is the Panty Vibe. That was I'm gonna just do fun. A little, oh, it was so much fun. So if you're a couple like us and you like to have a date night, this is a great way to just spark that. I don't know, that fun, that giddiness, that sort of first initial date. So the good thing about this is you have two. So this is why I can hand over the control to Leon and he feels like it is a toy that is inclusive of him. Yeah. So this literally goes in your underwear, ladies, which is fun. It'd be great if, say, say, say if I was a woman and you were a same sex partnership as well. Mm -hmm. So say you were lesbians, you could you could play a game with each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, I get the clicker and you get the remote, you, you're, on, you're on the TV and I'm just clicking through the channels. It's Very great. Good, see? And with 10 speeds, it's honestly incredible. And this is what I was talking about before um, on my YouTube channel, actually. I was talking about how sex toys don't look like sex toys. Like I, Jax has picked these up. 
because they've been around the house where we've been like trying these things. Um, and so it's not an intimidating thing. They're it's very not, premium looking, aren't they? They're really pretty. They're not, yeah, they're just not intimidating. They're premium and they're fun. And so this one, if you are looking to start something and you want your partner to feel like he gets to have the control, but also the two of you are gonna have fun. Um, this works fantastic. It's it's honestly such a great way to introduce a bit of fun to your relationship. So yeah, the panty vibe is a big tick from us. So again, we don't wanna feel like we are left out and this is why this one's a great one for you. So this is the remote cock ring, which Leon definitely loved the most. It was good. He also Kept loved all the blood where it needed to be. <laughs> he also loved thinking <laughs> that perhaps it wouldn't fit for a minute. Um, so again, we have another remote. So this is also fun. Um, your partner can obviously have the remote, whether it's person wearing it or not. So again, you can kind of change it up. And it has the cock ring, but it also has the separate bullets. So you can either wear it at the same time, you can use it pressing against, or you can have one the other you've got so many things to play with this um, and again 10 speeds honestly that final 10 speed um, and it does stretch gentlemen before you are worrying that's not going to fit you um, and again a really beautiful piece like you just wouldn't really yeah, know yeah no it's great it's so you lovely could put it, you could put it on your bedside cabinet next to your <laughs> I don't helpful. worry when the cleaner <laughs> Nobody turns up. Really <laughs> so again, it's a lovely way and obviously inclusive of all sexes and I think there's over 50 ways to play between all these toys, which is just mental. So yeah. it's just such a beautiful piece. And the last one has become our favourite, which I actually didn't think it would. This is like a, a Swiss army knife of vibrators. <laughs> you should always have one in your toolbox. Yes. Yeah. Again, it looks nothing like a vibrator at all. It's really beautiful, 10 speeds, all of the jazz, and it is flexible, so you can really change the angles, how it moves, so you can use it internally. You can find G-Spot for foreplay. Leon loves I it. Thought it. I thought the two main reasons I thought it was great is first of all, really helpful when you're going downtown. It just gives your tongue a little bit of a break and yeah. it really helps move things along. But secondly as well, when we're going full board, it goes, it can go, sorry to get graphic, underneath the shaft of my penis. Yeah. And it just adds a little, who, who, who wouldn't want a vibrating penis? Yeah, so honestly it's fantastic. And they're just all really soft and sleek and that's why that's they good. feel so premium. So if you are looking to ramp up your sex life, you want to introduce some sex toys and you're just not sure, and you also perhaps want to have more self-pleasure but in a couple, these three, part of the new Anne Summers Fusion range, are just beautiful. They're great ways to start, they're a great introduction, and they really cover all areas whilst not making it feel so... It can be quite awkward and almost <laughs> seen in some ways. I think in some ways people have like this old school attitude that it's a little bit seedy. Yeah, and but it's, it's not. not. It's about experimenting as a couple, and I think over the last three or four years as we've started to communicate, which is a key word, yeah. and experiment more, and using different things that are a lot more inclusive of us as a couple, is it's only helped our sex life, and I think, Regardless of your gender, your sexuality, I think they will have a definite place. They will make it fun, they will open communication, and that is the key thing. If you can talk about what you really want, and you can even think about what you really want, like honestly, what do you like in bed? This will really change that up for you and only make your sex life better. So I hope you love this video. We loved trying these. I mean, what a terrible thing to do. Honestly, it was incredible. We've linked everything so that you guys can find out more about the range yourself. Thank you, Anne Summers, for um, creating things like this. And uh, yeah, let's have some more fun. Happy sex. <laughs>